Collingwood defender Braden Maynard cleared to play in preliminary final. Braden Maynard will take part in Collingwood's premiership charge after the AFL tribunal cleared him of a rough conduct charge for an attempted smother that left Melbourne's Angus Bray shocking cussed. The tribunal finally made its decision on Tuesday night four hours after the hearing began, and after an hour of deliberations. The AFL, through its lawyer Andrew Woods, had argued the charge for Maynard was justified. In submissions Woods said Maynard breached his duty of care to Brayshaw either in his initial decision to jump forward and attempt to smother, or in the turning of his shoulder towards the Demons player when he was in midair. Alternatively, Woods argued Maynard had chosen to bump Brayshaw and had made high contact. The tribunal chair Jeff Gleason rejected these arguments and dismissed the charge. He said Maynard had insufficient time to make a decision that would have led to a better outcome. It's asking a lot of a player to decide in a fraction of a second which of various ways to land, in a high-speed collision, and which of those ways of landing might result in which type of reportable offense. We find that Mr. Maynard was not careless in either his decision to smother or the way in which his body formed after the smother. Gleason said Maynard could not have decided to bump Brayshaw in such a short time period, which meant the AFL's alternative argument was also dismissed. The decision could still be appealed by the AFL, whose head of football Laura Kane referred it to the tribunal after the match review officer had initially deemed it didn't warrant a charge. A decision from the AFL is expected on Wednesday. The incident took place early in the first quarter of Thursday night's qualifying final at the MCG, as Melbourne captain Max Gon handballed out of the centre to Brayshaw who then went to kick the ball downfield. Running towards him, Maynard leapt into the air with his arms extended in an attempt to smother, but missed and ended up slamming his shoulder into Brayshaw's head. Brayshaw lay unconscious on the field for several minutes receiving treatment before being stretchered off wearing a neck brace and taken to hospital for assessment. The loss of consciousness was confirmed at the tribunal by AFL counsel Andrew Woods based on Melbourne's medical report. Maynard's action was assessed by the match review officer to be severe impact, high contact and careless conduct. Maynard pleaded not guilty, giving evidence to the tribunal, Maynard said when he realized he was going to hit Brayshaw he, just sort of flinched and sort of tensed up because I thought, oh shit. Professor Michael Cole from the Australian Catholic University provided expert evidence on biomechanics and neuroscience to the tribunal and said it would have been difficult for Maynard to avoid the collision once he was in the air. Once he's in flight he's basically a projectile, a frisbee with legs, Cole said. Maynard's lawyer Ben Elay used a series of time-coded videos and still images, as well as the evidence of Professor Cole, in lengthy submissions. The appropriate way to consider it is that this collision is just one of those things that happens from time to time in a high velocity, high intensity, contact sport, Elay said to conclude. Gleason told the parties prior to deliberations he would not apologize for the hearing lasting three hours due to the public interest in the matter, and particularly given the incident left Bray shocking Custon had potentially serious ramifications for Maynard. As important as any of that, footballers will be playing today, next year, and then in the decades to come, who need to understand the basis on which this decision was made, and the basis on which we approach those matters generally, he said. But ultimately he called for the decision only to be read narrowly. It ought not be assumed that this is going to be some watershed moment in the announcement of the duty of care, he said. There'll be an analysis of the duty of care specific to this incident. Earlier on Tuesday the Demons coach, Simon Goodwin, said the tribunal outcome would help define what AFL players' duty of care was for their opponents. To have a player concussed unconscious for two minutes, I think we're all looking at the different types of footy acts that are out there in the space that we've come to in this area, he said.